Hello everyone. Welcome to the Media Tech podcast. I'm your host Gaurav Chaudhary. This podcast series is in conversation with some of the finest minds in the world of technology. Every episode, we talk to experts from Media Tech and its partners across a range of products and solutions from the mobile industry and automobile sector to health, entertainment, and next generation wearables. What are some of the emerging technologies that are shaping our future and impacting us going forward, be it transformative digitization or innovative solutions in the smartphones or smart devices space? Meet the people powering these innovations as we navigate the rapidly evolving tech landscape and strive to meet the demands of new age smart customers and connected ecosystems. The MediaTek podcast streams on MediaTek web channels on earshot.in, spotify.com, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and a host of other platforms. In this episode, we are delighted to have Victor Tan, Senior Director of Business Development Corporate Sales at MediaTek Incorporated. Victor is going to talk to us about Chrome OS and Chromebook and about the MediaTek companion brand, among others. Welcome to the show, Victor. Thank you, Gaurav. Very exciting to be here with you on this podcast. Absolutely delighted to have you here because you're going to tell us something about which is actually affecting our lives in a very, very positive way. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm going to use this opportunity to understand uh, from you the fine nuances. Uh, to begin with, can you help our audience understand more about MediaTek and MediaTek Companio brand? What does the brand represent and what value is it meant to provide users. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, just to give your audience a little bit of background, MediaTek is a global fabulous semiconductor company. Yeah. We're headquartered in Taiwan and uh, you know we have offices around the globe. I happen to be based out of the San Jose office. Um, and MediaTek, um, it's, a, it's a very um, incredible company in terms of the reach that it has. It, 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 we ship over 2 billion chipsets a year. Mm-hmm. And we enjoy leadership position in many of the consumer segments that we play in. And we're in, we're in the smartphone space. We're in the feature phone space. We're in Android tablets. We're in voice assistants. We're in networking, digital TVs. And of course, we're in ARM based Chromebooks. And right. in all these different areas, you know, we, we create the brains, the main processors that power a lot of these devices. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, for Chromebooks specifically, um, you know, we enable OEM to basically develop very slim, ultra portable Chromebooks. And we mm-hmm. power all the top OEMs like Acer and Asus and HP yeah. and Lenovo. And when it comes to the actual Companio brand itself, um, you know, this is our new product brand for computing devices like Chromebooks. And we introduced it in the middle of 2021. The main purpose mm-hmm. for that really was to help the community, you know, be able to reference our products easily and also understand, you know, where they fall in the segment. And the Companio brand, I mean, if you, the, the word actually Companio comes from companion. So the idea mm-hmm. is really uh, we're trying to capture the essence of always with you computing. So these are devices that consumers love to have close to them throughout the day. And mm-hmm. the reason they would love to have them close to, the, to them is because they offer some really great value. And, you know, I'll head on a few of the points, but basically they're always there for you. We have this amazing energy efficient design mm-hmm. that gives you an all day battery life experience. So the devices are always there for you. And of course, you know, you start to love them when they when they're, uh, you know, helping you throughout the day. Um, they also have an incredible uh, a multitasking architecture built in that allows you to get all your your work done, you know, whether it's running a meet conference call and running your productivity app. So they basically help you get your, you know, meet all your deadlines and get your work done. So that's also a big benefit there. They're thin and right. lightweight. They're thin and lightweight. Yeah. So they're so easy to carry around. And especially important for consumers and for stu- students, especially as they take, you know, these devices back and forth from school and home, they run cool, so they don't heat up. And, you know, if you're, if you're working and you have it on your lap, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, uh, disturb you at all. And it also works silently. It doesn't require any fans, so it doesn't disturb you in any way as you're getting your work done. So in a nutshell, it gives you that unique stress-free mobile computing experience. And, you know, that's, that's why we believe consumers will love these devices and want them to be their companions. Um, and we, we introduced three tiers into these brands, the good, better, best. So we have yeah. companion 500, 800, 1000. So we give you the whole kind of range 
of computing uh, performance that, that consumers need. Right, right. And what are some of the cutting-edge technologies that MediaTek is leveraging to help device manufacturers deliver the ultimate Chromebook experience? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question, uh, Gaurav. And, you know, it kind of goes back to what I was mentioning. Because we have this uh, breadth in our our solution space across all these different segments, we're able to almost cherry-pick all the best features from these different segments and bring them into computing. And that Mm. gives us a, a, a real competitive advantage. Uh, so take, for example, all day battery life, you mm-hmm. know, we've been working in feature phones and smartphones and, and in India is a big market for us in the, in that space. And mm-hmm. a smartphone has to be very optimized for battery, obviously. So we've got decades of experience optimizing for power consumption and low power. And we bring mm-hmm. that into computing. Um, if you think about multitasking again, um, the octa core design that we bring with big cores and small cores allows us to really finely control the processing power for the tasks at hand. And that allows us to get a lot of uh, um, concurrency so that we can run multiple ap- applications at the same time, but also be in, do it in a very power conservative way. Uh, think about your smartphone. It's basically a high-end camera today, right? Right, right. And, and, and we have all that capability in-house. So we can bring that into the compute space and, and have these amazing cameras for video conferencing um, AI is another one that I think is also really important. It started off kind of in the smartphone space with a lot of face detection and other types of functionality there. But MediaTek developed hardware accelerators that can run AI functions in a very power optimized manner. And again, mm-hmm. there is a lot of work we could do with the camera, with voice to uh, implement, uh, you know, AI enhancement on uh, different types of use cases. Absolutely. And, and how is MediaTek working with Chrome OS and Chromebook manufacturers to address specific sector requirements, uh, particularly uh, such as education? You know, if you could elaborate on what are some of the other factors that are driving this space? Yeah, I mean, education has gone through a big transformation, obviously, through the yeah. pandemic. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, we've, we've now kind of reached that new normal where effectively, the hybrid model is, is built into a lot of the use cases, right? So if you think about it from the different stakeholders, mm. you know, teachers, teachers need powerful machines so that they can get their content developed and, and delivered to students. Um, mm. So, you know, Google, for example, is working on features like screencast to allow yeah. teachers to be able to share content in a classroom very easily. So that's, mm-hmm. that's a, a really, uh, a, a, a basically a really good thing that Google is doing to help the teachers. But at the same time, you know, it's important for the teachers to be able to work with the students in a seamless way. So if teachers are using Chrome OS, if students are using Chrome OS, they can work without having to deal with compatibility issues. Teachers mm-hmm. also want to have safe classrooms. They don't want to have classrooms where there's cables all around because devices have to be plugged in. Uh, they want them to be safe and they want the students to be basically focused on learning and not yeah. be stressed out about, you know, having their devices running out of juice throughout the day. So those are some of the considerations we hear from the teacher side. Mm-hmm. I mean, students also want to have a, a safe de- a device where they're, you know, there's privacy, their content is, is, is safe. They want to be able to transport these devices easily, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and they want to basically, basically be able to multitask. So when they're running those, uh, you know, meet or Zoom conference calls uh, from home, let's say, they yeah. want to still be able to run other functionality at the same time, whether it's productivity. So these are all some of the, the things that we hear about from the different stakeholders. And we're working with Google to address a lot of the security elements, improve security, improving video conferencing performance. Uh, we're working with the schools. We attend trade shows and and uh, run lots of surveys and, and webinars where we try to understand what teachers want in their devices and build them into our chipset mm-hmm. so that we can enable OE- OEMs with that kind of great technology. Um, mm-hmm. So those are some of the areas that we are addressing um, and, uh, you know, what we hear from the community as pain points. Right. Uh, and MediaTek now has an SOC for all levels of the Chrome OS ecosystem. Uh, so how has the journey been uh, from an entry-level Companio 500 to the new Companio 1380 chip? Yeah, it's it's been a very interesting and exciting journey, and I'm actually very fortunate to be part of it. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you know, we, we kind of started off again in, in the leveraging a lot of the work that we have done for smartphone and tablet with Android OS. Of course, that gave us a, a real good 
uh, foundation to get into the Chromebook program. We started working with Google on, in the Chromebook program in around 2015, 2016 timeframe. Mm. And we started off in the entry segment. So we started off enabling devices at MSRP, roughly less than $350 and, you know, education, consumer devices, and really trying to democratize technology across the globe. We, right. had great, we had great success with uh, OEMs like Acer and Asus and Lenovo with some early devices. And then as we got into the pandemic, uh, we also had some amazing devices that launched right actually when the pandemic started, such as the Lenovo Duet, which you, you may have heard of. Very mm-hmm. successful device uh, delivering incredible value to, to users. Right. That mm-hmm. also did extremely well. And then in 21, we actually brought on HP, which was a mm-hmm. big win for us. Uh, with lots mm-hmm. of uh, exciting consumer and education devices. And as I mentioned, in mid-21, we, we introduced the Companio brand to help, mm-hmm. you know, basically get the community to understand our product. And specifically, the fact that we were just uh, not addressing the entry segment at that point, but also moving up into the mid-range and the premium. So that's where that Companio 800 and 1000 become important because we need to be able to differentiate between the different segments that we're playing in. Right. And I'd say, you know, in 21, late 21, we got our first mid-range product in the market. Mm-hmm. And this year, uh, uh, June of this year, we actually had a, a, a real good breakthrough with getting into the premium segment. We have Acer Spin 513 device, which is basically right. the world's most powerful ARM-based Chromebook today. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't find a, a device that's uh, ARM-based that, powers, uh, that is more powerful than this device. And right. it's all giving, and it's all coming in a very efficient, um, you know, all day battery life experience, thin and light. Um, so it really allows MediaTek to break into that premium segment. And, uh, we're very, we're very proud of that. We're very excited about it. Uh, being able to bring more value to users across the different range of, uh, of devices out there. And how are MediaTek Chromebooks distinctive from, uh, Mac? from the Mac operating system and also Windows? And what are the key features that make them stand apart from others? Yeah, I mean, a lot of that, you know, goes back to the Chrome OS uh, offering itself, which you mm-hmm. know, has traditionally been a lighter weight operating system. So it doesn't require as much hardware resources and, you know, things like memory and CPU as other OSs. So, it's, it, mm. it, of course, that gives you lots of benefits right out of the box. So you get a faster OS, you get energy efficiency. So all day battery life, you get cost savings. Um, so those are some of the, let's say, foundational elements of, of Chrome OS. Now we, we take that um, to another level in the, in the sense that we give even better energy efficiency because we are running ARM, we are running in a very uh, power optimized manner. And mm-hmm. not only does that give the all day battery life to users, but it also addresses sustainability, which is really important. And that translates to you know greenhouse gas emissions. So when you're running in a smaller power envelope, but you're mm-hmm. still giving the same user experience to consumers, you're actually saving on the power that you draw from the planet. And that affects, right. you know, a, a, a greenhouse uh, gas emission. So we yeah. receive, you know, 40 to 60 percent less greenhouse gas emissions based on analysis that we've done using MediaTek in addition to the benefits that Chrome OS brings. Now, Chrome yeah. OS has lots of other benefits, too, including, you know, security and a robust sleep mechanism and instant boot and simplicity, you know, like uh, users don't have to save their documents, everything stored in the cloud and easily accessible for multiple devices. So huge benefits that, that Google and Chrome OS are offering. But on top of that, you get another layer of benefits that come through the MediaTek solution. And, you know, especially around the all day battery life, the multitasking, uh, the thin and light, and then of course, silent and fanless and and running cool, right? So those are all additional benefits that we, we bring to the program. Absolutely. And finally, can you talk more about any new devices that device manufacturers have launched with MediaTek Companio? What are some of the exciting new features that they bring to consumers? If you could elaborate on that, because uh, it'll help us crystal ball gaze into the future a bit. Yeah, so I mentioned the Asus Spin 513, which was uh, yep. a, a super device that launched in the June timeframe. And, and, and we're super excited. Just a, a week ago, actually, we had HP launch their Chromebook X360 uh, device. It's a 13.3-inch convertible device powered mm-hmm. by MediaTek Companio 1200. So that's a, mm-hmm. a, a chipset that we have or a processor we have in the 1000 series. 
So, uh, you know, high-end performance. And uh, this device is extremely interesting in terms of how HP has developed it. It's designed for mobility. So mm. it gives you 16 hours of battery life, mm. which is amazing. Uh, we'll get anybody through their, their work throughout the day. But it's mm. also been developed with the environment in mind. So using a lot of sustainable uh, types of materials, whether it's in the keyboard or in the speaker enclosures. It's also developed for work and play. So, you know, it allows you to get all your work done, but it also has a flair for gaming. So they've basically built in this amazing audio system uh, that um, a Bang & Olsen system, basically, that gives you a, a really nice experience when you're doing either entertainment or gaming. So uh, a yeah. very exciting device, um, really targeting the value segment, but giving you that everyday performance so that anyone can use it to device. It'll really address the majority of users out there. It launched in the US, like I mentioned, but it is coming to other markets, including India. So uh, I think your use, your audience out there will be excited to see it. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's quiet, it's fanless, it's thin and lightweight, under three pounds. Um, you know, it's got all of the big the benefits, Wi-Fi 6 and uh, SSD storage with up to eight gigabytes of RAM. So really opening up a whole slew of different use cases out there. Uh, we're super excited about it. And that's our latest device that's coming to the market. Um, so wanted just to highlight that for, for your audience and look out for it um, coming early next year is what we're hearing. Right. Thank you so much, Victor, for this very deep insights into MediaTek Companio, the Chromebook OS, uh, and the kind of a very exciting work that you're doing with a large number of manufacturers, device manufacturers, and also which are uh, offering specific solutions for problems in, for specific sectors, particularly like education. Thank you so much for taking the time out and dropping by to have this conversation uh, with us at the MediaTek Podcast. Thank you, Gaurav. Thanks so much.